of book lovers and YouTubers out there, I am back with a second review for you guys. It is on Devil's Kiss by Starwin Childen. I have to start off by saying this was another book that was an amazing, amazing and enjoyable book that I just could not put down. And where I first came um, upon this book was when I was at the bookstore last year. And I've I haven't heard very many things about it, and I was just very curious of how the story would go. But before I could be able to get my hands on one, it all sold out. <clears throat> and it stayed sold out for a while, even through um, this year a little bit. And then when I, before I could even order one, I um, came upon another, um, another copy of it at the library. So I got it there, and then that's how I read it. I enjoyed it so much that I bought my own copy after ordering it. So, um, this is my my own copy in paperback, and I just absolutely love this cover. It's one of the things that pulled me in wanting to read this book, and my curiosity of it. And I just love how the main character, Billy, is like standing here, like holding her the sword like in her hand, and like the design right here beside her, um, underneath the name, and then all the mist is like all around the sword, coming from the sword, and around the name. And then you have like this mysterious figure in the mist, and I think it's one of the guy's character, but I just don't know which one. So that's the front, and then on the back, it has the um, tombstones, and it's like on the mist, and it's in the forest, and I really love that effect to it on the back, so that's the cover, and I just had to start off by saying this was a very amazing book, and I just really enjoyed it, so let's get and start it with what this book is about. It starts off by talking about a young girl, a 14-year-old girl named Billy. And she has had some really crazy things happen in her life. First of all, she witnessed her mother's murder in front of her. Um, witnessed her being murdered in a way that she kind of wishes that she could have saved her mom. And in a way also that she kind of blames herself for it. So trying to search for what this creature is and what is going on, she stumbles upon um, some things about herself and her father and his friends and that they are very special people and a special way where uh, where she finds out that they are knights, knights templars her and her father and her friends are all knights and that they are special knights that were chosen from God to protect humans from unholies. These mysterious, paranormal creatures, all kinds of creatures you can never imagine. And then um, she is just pulled into this knighthood and she has no idea what she's gotten herself into. So after years of training and fighting and going on missions for her father, she has found out that there's some better things out there than this knighthood. So she tries to find um, a way out of the order in the knighthood, and she tries to explain to her father what she wants, but her father won't listen to her or acknowledge what she wants. So that kind of bugs her in a way where she just doesn't talk to her father about anything like that anymore. So she's also struggling with the return of her best friend Kay. Um, friend, they've been friends since childhood. And she just still has a close connection with this boy and still has feelings with um, uh, um, feelings. And she doesn't know how to uh, acknowledge these feelings or don't know how to handle them. Because after him leaving and leaving her there all by herself and on missions for a year all by herself, she just got into a point where she just doesn't want him around her anymore. And also you find out that he is also very special. He is a oracle. And he is the first oracle that has 
been for generations and also the um he's very and the only youngest one too so he's very young for um of being an oracle so her father take um take sends him to uh Jerusalem and then that's how he like upholds his powers to be able to um protect him so he won't harm not only himself but also won't harm anyone else around him so that is Kay's um, character. But then you also find out that she is still on a search for being normal. And she tries it with this young boy named Mike that she knows nothing about. And she knows that he is hiding something from her and she wants to know what it is. But before she gets the chance to find out what it is, she is pulled into this mission where um, the knights have called out all to the ni other knights to try to find out where this enemy is because he has resurfaced and is in s is searching for this cursed mirror to use it to wipe out all the firstborns of London and so it's up to Billy Kay and the other knights to protect these young children before it's too y um, too late excuse me, too late, and, um, so she's pulled into this mission where she has to make so many sacrifices just to try to protect these young boys, and also along the way, there's some things that happen where she, <sighs> some really sad things, like, first of all, someone that she loves very dearly, um, dies and she kind of blames herself for the death of that person and she blames herself for trying to even get a normal life and she'll probably blame herself for um, for it for the rest of her life so that is what this story is about I give this um, book 10 stars it definitely deserved that I can't wait to read the sequel Dark Goddess and that is my review on Devil's Kiss by Star My Childen. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Comment and subscribe below. And look forward for my next review on Haunted by Jessica Verde. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.